The final video in Edexcel Additional Chemistry is about yields of chemical reactions. Now the yield of any reaction is the amount of product or the amount of useful product you make at the end. So if you have a reaction, just a any reaction, and let's say you want to get um, some sort of solid product out at the end, once you've done your reaction and you have uh, filtered and purified and got your um, product as a pure form, the yield of this reaction is just the number of grams of it you have or the mass of it you have at the end. So in this particular reaction, my yield would be four grams of the product I want. Now, in any chemical reaction, it is impossible to get what we call a 100% yield. We never ever get exactly um, the, the, the amount out of the end that we should do um, based on the reaction that we're doing. Okay, if we did, we would say that we had a 100% yield. Okay, so we can do a calculation which we discussed in the previous video, which was for higher tier only. And let's say in this reaction, we expected our expected yield, or we expected to make uh, 9.6 grams, but we actually only got 4 grams out at the end. We need to be able to work out the percentage yield for this reaction. Okay. Now the percentage yield is simply um, the percentage that we've made uh, compared to the hypothetical or the expected amount. In this case, to work out the percentage yield, we were simply going to do 4 divided by 9.6, which gives us it as a decimal. which gives us 0.41. To get that as a percentage, we simply times our answer by 100. The percentage yield in this reaction is 41.7%. Okay. So the question is, why have we not got out at the end exactly what we should have got? Now, there's various um, possible reasons why. The first reason why is that in this reaction, um, we might... We might not get every, um, we might not get all the start materials reacting how we want to form this product. We might get them reacting and forming something else. Okay, and we call these side reactions. So our first reason why we might not get exactly what we expect is because of side reactions. So we might make something that we don't expect. So this will reduce um, reduce the number of atoms. Uh, available to make our products, so we will get less than 100% yield. The second reason is the fact that some reactions can take quite a long time. If you imagine um, the oxidation of iron or the rusting of iron to form iron oxide, that reaction takes several weeks. If you leave an iron uh, block outside, it's going to take um, quite a few weeks or even years to fully react and fully form iron oxide. If we were to stop that reaction early and um, measure and purify and record the amount of products we formed, the reaction wouldn't have been complete, not all of the iron would have rusted. So a second reason we might not get a 100% yield is because the reaction might be incomplete. A third reason we're not going to get a 100% yield is um, in order to get this product as the pure chemical, we're going to have to take the mixture that we make in this reaction, we're going to have to filter the product, we're going to have to wash it, possibly dry it. We've got lots of steps in order to purify it. So we might lose some product during purification. Okay, so even um, even pouring one solution from uh, one beaker to another, you're always going to get some losses of that product on the side of the beaker. You might get some solid that you can't quite scrape out the bottom of your um, reaction vessel. You're always going to lose some product. So that is why our percentage yield is not going to be 100%. Okay, last thing we need to know uh, for this chemistry course is um, basically just a few ideas about how chemists, if they're designing a process in industry, um, want to design their reaction to be able to get as, uh, um, it as efficient as possible. Okay, the first things that, that chemists want is to um, maximize the yield of your reaction. 
Okay, so you want to be able to um, get as high a percentage yield as possible, so you are turning as much of the reactants that you're starting with into products as you possibly can. Second, we, they want a high rate of reaction. You want a nice fast reaction. There's no point having a reaction that takes a year to make anything useful. Even if the percentage yield is 100%, um, it needs, um, it's pointless unless the rate is high enough um, to be able to make it commercially viable. The third one, they want to try and avoid producing toxic byproducts. So in lots of processes, you might make a toxic gas or a toxic um, chemical that you would have to then pay lots of money to dispose of. If possible, uh, we want to avoid that from happening. Okay. Um, by combining these ideas together, um, industrial chemists can maximise their profits. They can uh, produce lots of a product um, nice and efficiently with a high yield and avoid having to pay to dispose of any toxic byproducts. Um, and that is all there is to GCSE chemistry. If you have any feedback on these videos, uh, please let me know, uh, either in the messages or the comments, uh, because obviously um, I just want to make these videos as useful for you. Okay, thank you very much and good luck with your exam.